Hello students, welcome to Mr. Tike classes. Our main topic is the basic accounting equation. In this tutorial, we are going to cover credit transactions. In the previous tutorial, we covered cash transactions. The link for the previous tutorial will be in the description of this video. This is the answer for the previous tutorial. The question reads, Amanda Zulu started a business as Amanda Traders on 1 January 2022. The business trades groceries. The following is a list of transactions entered into by the business during the month of January 2022. The business uses perpetual inventory system. Credit transactions. Just a recap, the basic accounting equation states that assets is equal to equity plus liabilities. Whereby assets refers to the possessions of the entity. So the possessions of the entity should equal the financing of the business because a business can be financed through equity or liabilities. This side of the accounting equation has a debit balance and this side of the accounting equation has a credit balance, which means that if we are given an asset account, it increases on the debit side and it decreases on the credit side. If we are given a liability account, it increases on the credit side and decreases on the debit side. This is an asset account which increases on the debit side and decreases on the credit side. The debit side being the left hand side, the credit side being the right hand side. This is a liability account which increases on the credit side and decreases on the debit side, right? Transaction 8. Amanda Traders bought computer equipment for office use on credit from Digital Palace Worldwide for 5,500. So our assets are increasing. So the asset account increasing there is computer equipment. So we are going to debit computer equipment. Because remember, whenever assets are increasing, we should debit. So we are going to debit computer equipment. We are going to debit computer equipment. And which other account is affected? Which other account is affected? So we also have a liability account here. Why? Because this computer equipment was bought on credit. So there is a liability. So our liabilities are increasing. Right. So, which liability account is affected? Trade payables. Trade payables account is affected. And remember, when liabilities are increasing, we should credit because liabilities have a credit balance. So, we're going to credit trade payables. Right. Okay. So, our accounting equation balances because we have plus 5,500 this side, which is equal to plus 5,500 this side, right? We have an account that is debited and we have an account that is credited. Transaction nine, bought goods for resale to the amount of 7,500 on credit from bought wholesalers. Bought goods for resale to the amount of 7,500 on credit from bought wholesalers. So this is inventory, right? This is inventory. So we are going to increase our assets by 7,500, right? So we are going to debit inventory, right? We are going to debit inventory. Inventory is an asset account and assets have a debit balance, right? Okay, and which other account is affected here? Which other account is affected here? So this inventory was bought on credit, which means that we have a liability there. We have a liability, so our liabilities are increasing, right? Our liabilities are increasing, so we are going to credit trade payables. We are going to credit trade payables, right? We are going to credit trade payables. 
okay transaction 10 so uh, here we have plus 7500 this side which is equal to plus 7500 this side we have an account that is debited and then and an account that is credited right so number 10 sold goods to the amount of 15000 on credit to singles right sold goods to the amount of 15000 on credit to singles so we have an asset account that is increasing right because we have a data called singles right so we are going to debit we are going to debit trade receivables we are going to debit the trade receivables because we have a data called singles right our assets are increasing so we should debit right then which other account is affected there which other account is affected there right uh, we have an income account called sales so we are going to credit sales we are going to credit sales why because sales fall under income and income increases equity so since income increases equity it is going to have a credit balance that's why we are crediting sales and we are not going to have a liability here right okay these goods were previously bought for 5500 so you can see that it is a portion of these goods that were sold right so um these goods were previously bought for 5500 so we should show that uh, our inventory is decreasing we should show that our inventory is decreasing because if we don't show that our inventory is going to remain at 7500 whereby we have sold inventory right with a cost price of 5500 so we should show that our inventory is decreasing so we are going to subtract 5500 we are going to subtract 5500 right then we credit inventory we credit inventory which means that we are decreasing our assets right because assets have a debit balance and which account are we going to debit which account are we going to debit we are going to debit a, we are going to debit cost of sales cost of sales account we are going to debit cost of sales account so this part calculates profit right because these goods were sold for 15000 and they were previously bought for 5500 so 15000 subtract 5500 is equals to profit so this part calculates profit all right so uh, we are done with our credit transactions in our next tutorial we are going to cover general transactions and a few cash transactions we are going to cover general transactions and a few cash transactions thank you